uh, when I was getting straws, um, I remembered that Gramps used to have them, and he used them to test his uh, kombucha. I don't know what he called it, if he called it kombucha or not, but um, he used to brew his own soft drinks and sell them to his friends. That's something that Tommy knew that I didn't remember very clearly. And then um, people started to get too, too nosy, I guess, to somebody probably died that was holding people back, teaching civics in terms of uh, letting people have their space because it was better than the consequences of not. And um, after this person died, then the chatter got to be too much. And uh, Grandma didn't, who was kind of our indicator, you know, Rosie was our indicator when it was starting to get extreme. So, um, you know, Gramps talked to me about it, what she would do before she did it. And somehow or another, uh, we kind of ruined his uh, kombucha. And then uh, I got to use straws for a little while. But after the kombucha was gone, or after those straws were gone, she didn't buy any more. And, uh, anyway, uh, I totally lost my mind when, uh, <laughs> uh, Father Christmas, uh, was walking towards me. He, like, had that big bishop's hat and the big cross, and I was, like, starting to freak out. I mean, like, you know, freak out, like, standing there with a weird look on my face, freaking out. And he saw it, you know, and I, and, uh, I had an English t student, um, when I, I had mentioned something about my Gramps, and she said, wait, say that again? I said, Gramps, and she said, you're saying Krampus. <laughs> and, and she said, I don't, I'm not going to book you again. We have stories about people who were raised by Krampus, and uh, you, you, you should, you don't, you know, you're living in a country where you don't need a job. <laughs> and, uh, um... <laughs> So anyway, I didn't get a, I wanted to get a sticker this year, but the line was too long. I kind of got late. Um, I wasn't feeling well. You know, they've been, uh, there was a guy, you know, that guy standing behind me saying whenever they recalibrate, they're going to make it worse. And he just looks like a normal guy. And um, Tommy's uh, handling the Secret Service is making sure they understand what's going on here and all the... Um, ramifications because uh, and um their dad and the trust are going into full elision mode we kind of recalibrate our direction every 20 years that seems to be the right interval and uh i don't i don't know if it was him or my brother that i saw the other day but uh whichever one it was is uh you know Sure, sure that I'm I'm lucky that they're like in a business suit, <laughs> or they're lucky anyway. Um, and uh, you know, I I whatever they do, what they do to me, to make me fear Father Christmas, and uh, have seizures when they um, sniff rush or smoke meth or whatever. Um, you know, it sometimes makes me forget who I am. And I sometimes try to enter Dad's service, and then he has to give me the runaround or remind me that I don't have to enter. And uh, Marie was saying um, that uh, she's she had that question: Why is she below someone like Barney? You know, considering um, you know all the all the stuff I was saying today. Um, was instead of what he wanted me to say about, like, rawr, 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 you know, I'm going to kill a bunch of people, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, and uh, it's just because, you know, time has to pass for things to get right. And she entered having upheld her end of the bargain, and then when we actually, gave, you know, gave him help having the means to uphold his, he did not. He entered his service today, too.